get started. Uh, thank you all for coming out today uh, to the Hardin County's uh, Derby Festival uh, Spelling Bee. Uh, welcome to the Hardin County School Performing Arts Center. Uh, very excited to have these wonderful students out here with us today to compete in this Spelling Bee. Uh, it's always a fun time each year for us. Uh, we uh, do want to recognize our three judges today over here to my right, your left. Uh, with us today we have Miss Linda Reed, our Director of Assessment Accountability. Uh, in the middle there we have Miss Dana Wilby. Uh, she's our EL coordinator for the district. We also have Mr. John Thomas, who is our Director of Secondary Education. That's going to be our three judges for today. So when I say a word wrong, mispronounce something, they'll throw something at me and I know to say it different. So uh, they do work with me on that. Uh, to kind of get you guys ready for today, to kind of get you uh, talking into the microphone, we're going to let you come up and introduce yourself and tell us what school you're from. So we're going to start with contestant number one. He's going to come up, tell his name, what school he is representing, and then we'll just follow with number two all the way down to the list. So. I am Jack Siner from West Harden Middle School, and I'm a seventh grader. I am Rhett Eaglin. I'm from Lakewood Elementary, and I'm a fourth grader. I'm Brayden Dasher. I'm from Lineyville Elementary, and I'm a four gr fourth grader. I'm Misha Badrinus from Heartland Elementary, and I'm a fifth grader. I am Devin Carberry from Faith Academic Co-op, and I am a seventh grader. I'm Zoe Hardesty from Lincoln Trail Elementary, and I'm a fifth grader. I'm Braden Scott. I'm from Bluegrass, and I'm an eighth grader. I'm Hadley Greenwell, and I'm from North Harding Christian, and I'm a seventh grader. I'm Ethan Williams. I go to East Harden, and I'm in eighth grade. I am Mitchell Schoolis from North Middle School, and I'm an eighth grader. Hi, my name is Lena Swecker, and I'm from Ele Radcliffe Elementary School, and I'm a fifth grader. I'm Krisha Patel, I'm from J.C. Burkett, and I'm a fifth grader. I'm Alana Chavaria, I'm a sixth grader, and I'm from JTA Middle School. I'm Dominic Palmer from Meadowview Elementary School, and I'm a fifth grader. Hi, I'm Christian Gomez from Cecilia Valley Elementary School, and I'm a fifth grader. I'm Rishi Patel, and I go to Vine Grove Elementary, and I'm in fifth grade. All right, thank you very much. We do have three candidates that aren't here at this time. Uh, the rule is once we start the competition, as long as they show up before the end of round one, they will be able to, to participate. Uh, before we get started here and I start going over the rules, I would like to ask if you all could put all your phones on silent at this time. Check your cell phones. I know you're going to want to take some pictures, but if you can keep it on silent while they're spelling their words, that would be greatly appreciated. Students, here are the rules for the day. If you can kind of keep your eyes on me, we're going to make sure we cover this thoroughly. Uh, in competition, after the, the pronouncer, which is me, gives the contestant a word. The contestant will be encouraged to pronounce the word before spelling it and after spelling it. The contestant may ask the pronouncer to say the word again, define it, and or use it in a sentence. Having started to spell a word, a contestant may stop and start over, retracing the spelling from beginning. But in retracing, there can be no change of letters or their sequence from those first pronounced. If letters or their sequence are changed in the respelling, the speller will be eliminated. The contest shall be conducted in rounds. Each contestant remaining in the spelling bee at the start of a round shall spell one word in the round. Upon missing the spelling of a word, 
A contestant immediately drops out of the contest. The next word is given to the next contestant. So if you miss a word, I give the next person a different word. Now, if you were to miss a word during a competition, you would move to the other side of the stage until the end of the competition. If none of the contestants remaining in the B at the start of a round spells a word correctly during the round, all shall remain in the competition. If only one of the contestants remaining in the B at the start of a round spells a word correctly during that round, that contestant shall be declared the winner. Now, we do uh, have a runner-up and a winner today. Uh, the winner will represent our region and the 2020 Kentucky Derby Festival Spelling Bee at the Kentucky Center for the Arts in Louisville, Kentucky on March the 14th. If for some reason the winner of the Spelling Bee today cannot fulfill their uh, responsibility of being there that day to represent our region, the runner-up would uh, take that spot. Any questions from judges or contestants? We have a new contestant just walked in. If they could please step to the mic and tell us your name, your school, and your grade. I'm Trayvon Smith. I'm from Creekside Elementary, and I'm in fourth grade. All right, thank you. Judges, are we ready for our first contestant in our first round? Okay, once again, when you go to the mic, when I give you a word, make sure you say the word before spelling it, and then uh, we'll proceed from there. Thank you. Contestant number one. First word today, pellets. Pellets, P-E-L-L-E-T-S, pellets. That's correct. Dragnet. Dragnet, G-R-A-G-N-E-T, Dragnet. Could you spell that one more time? Dragnet. Dragnet, D-R-A-G-N-E-T, Dragnet. That's correct. I thought that's the way I heard it. That's correct. League. League, L E A. U-G-E, league. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Tumblebug. Tumblebug, T-U-M-B-L-E-B-U-G, tumblebug. That's correct. Salmon. Salmon. S A L M O N. Salmon. That's correct. Receipt. Can you say that again? Receipt. R E C E I T. Receipt. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Tutored. Tutored. T U T O R E D. Tutored. That's correct. Canonical. Canonical. C A N O N I C A L. Canonical. Correct. Causal. Could you repeat that? Causal. Definition of involving or constituting a cause, causal. Causal, C A U S A L. That's correct. Embargo, E M B A R G O. Embargo. Correct. Sheriff. Sheriff, S H E. R R I F F Sheriff. That's incorrect. Woofer. W O O F E R. That's correct. 
Just try to get in the habit of make sure y'all say the word before spelling it. Grotto. Grotto. G R O T T O. Grotto. Correct. Trite. Definition? Not evoking interest because of overuse or repetition. Trite. Trite. T R I T E. Trite. That's correct. Sapphire. Can you repeat the word? Sapphire. Sapphire. S A P. P. H I R E. Sapphire. That's correct. Woozily. Woozily. W O O Z I L Y. That's correct. Auspicious. Auspicious. A U S P I T I C I O U S. Auspicious. That's incorrect. I believe that uh, completes round one. We're now moving on to round two. First, first word in round two. Snooker. Could you repeat the word? Snooker. Snooker. S-N-O-O-K-E-R. Snooker. That's correct. Cognate. May you please use that in a sentence? Yes. Physics and chemistry are cognate subjects. Cognate. Cognate. C-O-D-I-N-A-T-E. Cognate. That's incorrect. Fresco. Fresco. F R E C O. That's incorrect. Quarterback. Quarterback. <clears throat> Q U A T E R B A C K. Quarterback. That's incorrect. Wager. Wager. W A G E R. Wager. Correct. Confiscate. Confiscate. C O N F I S C A T E. Confiscate. Correct. Kneecap. Kneecap. K N E E C A P. Kneecap. Correct. Censure. Can you repeat the word? Censure. Censure. Can I have a definition? Sure. An expression of strong disapproval or harsh criticism. Censure. Censure. C E N T U R E. Censure. That's incorrect. Arctic. Arctic. A. R T I C Arctic. That's incorrect. Deference. May you use that in a sentence? Even though she didn't like her new boss, she gave him deference. Deference. D E F E R. E N C E deference. That's correct. Sequins. May I use it in a sentence, please? Yes. The ice skater's costume was covered in shiny sequins. Sequins. S E Q I N S sequins. That's incorrect. Warrant. Warrant. W A R R A N T warrant. Correct. Slurp. 
Slurp, S-L-U-R-P, Slurp. Correct. I think that completes round two. Congratulations, we're going to start here at round three with contestant number one. Veto. Veto, V-E-T-O, Veto. Correct. Bassinet. Bassinet. B-A-C-I-N-E-T. Bassinet. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Soapstone. Soapstone. S-O-A-P-S-T-O-N-E. Soapstone. Correct. Quiver. Quiver. Q-U-I-V-E-R, Quiver. Correct. Tundra. Tundra, T-U-N-D-R-A, Tundra. Correct. Adobe. Adobe, A-D-O-B-E, Adobe. Correct. Seascape. Seascape. S E A S C A P E. Correct. That concludes round three. Round four, contest number one. Feminist. Could you repeat the word? Feminist. Feminist. F E M I N I S T. Feminist. That's correct. Mirage. Mirage. M-I-R-A-G-E. Mirage. Correct. Widescreen. Widescreen. W-I-D-E-S-C-R-E-E-N. Widescreen. Correct. Vane. May you say the definition? Yes. Any of the membranous tubes that form a branching system and carry blood to the heart from the cells, tissues, and organs of the body. Vein. Vein. V-E-I-N. Vein. That's correct. Egret. Can you repeat the word? Egret. Egret. E-G-R-E-T. Egret. That's correct. Tattletail. Tattletail. T-A-T-T-L-E. T A L E Tattletale. That's correct. That completes round four. First word of round five, contestant number one. Screeching. Screeching. C or can I can I restart? Screeching. C R E E C H I N G. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Puce. Puce. P U C E. Puce. That's correct. Taboo. Taboo. T A B O O. Taboo. That's correct. Clogging. Clogging. C L O G G I N G. Clogging. Correct. Nasal. Can you repeat the word? Nasal. Nasal. N A I S L E. Nasal. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Penary. Penary. P E N N A R Y. Penary. Sorry, that's incorrect. Okay, that can hold on one second there. That completes round five. Looks like we're starting with contestant number 10 here on round six, down to three candidates. Pete. Definition, please. 
Partially carbonized vegetable matter, usually mosses, found in bogs and used as fertilizer and fuel. Peat. Peat. P-E-A-T. Peat. That's correct. Mercer. Definition. A person who deals in textiles. Mercer. M-E-R-C-E-R. Mercer. That's correct. Mesa. May, you ha may I have a definition, please? Yes, a broad, flat-topped elevation with one or more cliff-like sides, common in the southwest United States. Mesa. Mesa. M-A-I-S-A. -A. Mesa. That's incorrect. We're starting round number... Well, that completed round six, didn't it? All right, so we're starting here at round seven. And we have two candidates left, so um, let's go with round seven, starting with contestant number 10. And the word is, I think we left off with keen. Do we have that one? Keen. Keen. K-E-E-N. Keen. Correct. Script. Script. S-C-R-I-P-T. Script. That's correct. Completes round seven. Start with candidate number 10 here in round eight. Fickle. Fickle. F-I-C-K-L-E. Fickle. That's correct. Nestle. Nestle. N-E-S-T-L-E. Nestle. That's correct. That completes round eight. Moving on to round nine. Contestant number 10. Veteran. Veteran. V E T E R A N. Veteran. Correct. Access. Access. A C C E S S. Access. Correct. That completes round nine. Moving on to round ten with contestant number ten. Earache. Earache. E A R A C H E earache. That's correct. Touchdown. Touchdown. T O U C H D O W N. Touchdown. That's correct. That completes round 10. Moving on to round 11. It's contestant number 10. Staircase. Staircase. S T A I R C A S E staircase. Correct. Hurricane. Hurricane. H U R R I C A N E. Hurricane. That's correct. That completes round 11. Moving on to round 12 with contestant number 10. Loam. Definition, please. Soil composed of a mixture of sand, clay, silt, and organic matter. Loam. Loam. L-O-A-M. Loam. That's correct. Edict. Edict. E-D-I-C-T. Edict. That's correct. Completes round number 12. Moving on to round lucky number 13. We have contestant number 10. Rhombus. Rhombus. R-H-O-M-B-U-S. Rhombus. Correct. Capitalization. Capitalization. C-A-P-I-T-A-L-I-Z-A-T-I. O-N, capitalization. That's correct. That completes round 13. Moving on to round 14 with contestant number 10. Caldera. Caldera. C-A-L-D-E-R-A. 
R A Caldera. That's correct. Spelunker. Spelunker. S P E L U N K E R. Spelunker. That's correct. That completes round 14. Moving on to round 15, start with the contestant number 10. Hustle. Hustle. H U S T L E. Hustle. That's correct. Amino. Amino. A M I N O. Amino. That's correct. That completes round 15. Going on to round 16 with contestant number 10. Ampere. Ampere. A M P E R E. Ampere. That's correct. Extravaganza. Extravaganza. E X T R A V A G A N Z A. Extravaganza. That's correct. All right, that completes round 16. Moving on to round 17. Contestant number 10, excommunicate. Excommunicate. E X C O M M U N I C A T E. Excommunicate. That's correct. Emphasize. Emphasize. E M P H A S I Z E. Emphasize. Correct. That completes round seven, or round six, no, it was round 17, wasn't it? Moving on to round 18. Losing track here. Uh, altruism. Altruism. A L T R U I S M. Altruism. That's correct. Moraine. Moraine. M O R A I N E. Moraine. That's correct. That completed round 18. Moving on to round 19. With contestant, contestant number 10. Scalene. Scalene. S C A L E N E. Scalene. That's correct. Abolition. Abolition. A B O L I T I O N. Abolition. That's correct. Completes round 19. Moving on to round 20. Contestant number 10. Toboggan. Toboggan. T O B O G G A N. Toboggan. That's correct. Crevice. C R E V I C E. Crevice. That's correct. That completes round 20. Off to round 21, starting with contestant number 10. Strudel. Definition, please. A pastry made with a sweet or savory filling, such as fruit or cheese, rolled up in layers of thin sheets of dough and then baked. Strudel. Strudel. S T R U D E L. Strudel. That's correct. Transect. Transect. T R A N S E C T. Transect. That's correct. That completes round 21. Moving on to round 22 uh, with contestant number 10. Benign. Benign. B E N I G N. Benign. Correct. Thenceforth. Thenceforth. T H E N C E F O R T H. Thenceforth. That's correct. This completes round 22. Moving on to round 23. Colossal. Colossal. C O L O S S A L Colossal. Correct. Stucco. Stucco. 
S T U C C O, stucco. That's correct. Completes round 23, moving on to round 24. Pugilism. Pugilism. P U G I L I S M. Pugilism. That's correct. Collage. Collage. Definition. An artistic composition of materials and objects pasted over a surface, often with unifying lines and color. Collage. Collage. C O. L L A G E collage. Correct. That completes round 24. Moving on to round 25 with contestant number 10. Cavalry. Cavalry. C A V A L R Y. Cavalry. Correct. Napoleon. Napoleon. N-A-P-O-L-E-O-N. -E Napoleon. Correct. That was round 25. Moving on to round 26. Conjecture. Conjecture. C-O-N-J-E-C. T U R E conjecture. Correct. Chinchilla. Chinchilla. C H I N C H I L L A. Chinchilla. That's correct. That ends round 26. Moving on to round 27. Contestant number 10. Tableau. Tableau. T A B L E A U tableau. Correct. Rhythmic. Rhythmic. R Y T H M I C. Rhythmic. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. I believe that. So that was the end of the round, and we have our winner. Give him a big round of applause. That's it. Braden Scott from Bluegrass Middle School, is that correct? Is that what is it? All right. Everybody give a big round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. All right, uh, Braden, you'll be representing us at the on March 14th at the uh, looks like the Kentucky Center for the Arts uh, at Louisville, Kentucky, for the Kentucky Derby Festival Spelling Bee. Uh, represent us well. One more big round of applause. Thank you all for coming out today. Thank you, guys. You all can go. Thank you.